All right, so we have a 2013 Kia Soul 2.0 liter engine. That's a pretty common engine on these Kia Soul. I believe this is the hyphen Kia Soul. Um, now, what we got here is a condition where this vehicle randomly wants to stall while driving, shutting off. So. Getting one code for P0335. Really, the only code I'm seeing, I have a feeling it could be the engine about to go here. But uh, we'll see. Um, it's worth a shot to toss this in there. It's not too much. Um, pretty easy to do, pretty easy to access. If you check out this video, I assure you I'm going to get right to the point here and make this really easy for you. Uh, it goes right underneath the engine. I highly recommend driving it up onto some ramps and you can get access real easy right by the engine oil filter. Uh, literally right up in there, it's one 10 millimeter bolt. Maybe torque it down, double check this, but no more than, I'd say, you know, six foot pounds. It doesn't take a lot of torque to hold down this guy. The trickiest part is wiggling it out of there. What I like to do when I get it out, I'll kind of take it and move it up and down after I remove the 10 millimeter bolt and you can kind of start to break the seal around the uh, opening. And once you've got that seal broke, you can get access and get in there, no problems at all. So I'm just letting you have a moment here to look over the actual paperwork. It actually shows you exactly what you need to do to get this job done. Take a look at the, this is the sensor that goes onto the bracket, and if you watch my video, I actually show you the easiest way to slide that on and off the bracket, because it can be really difficult to get it on and off of there, but if you listen and watch what I do, I promise you to make this the easiest sensor change ever. Uh, so basically, I'm going to get underneath here first, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and find our engine oil filter, which is right there. Now, I'm going to need the vehicle. You look up or towards the right, your sensor is going to be up there. I'm actually going to first, though. There's two or three push tabs that have to be moved, so you need to pinch the back where they're on the bracket, as you can see here. You just kind of give it a pinch. You should be able to push that wire forward. Then I just take my Milwaukee pliers or uh, some needle nose and I'll push the, the uh, harness out my way so I can have more access. That way, I, you can see in a second how I reach up and I bend that metal. 